Christ is this Charlie from Charlie's Little World of Adventures and welcome back to day two of the twelve reviews of Christmas. And today's review is one of the newest animations you can find out James. Chicken Run Dawn of the Night. In this one, Ginger and Rocky Rocky have now Alpha on an island for all the chicken stuff for Stephen Freedom's farm and have even started the family of the oh that new chick, Molly. Like how however but that is a problem. Blah, blah, Mo Molly is curious of the outside world. Out of what lies beyond on her island. One day after escaping from the island, <laughs> then, then she, <laughs> she, she and another chick, it can call Frizzle, so are captured and taken to this new farm run by an old for oh, of Ginger Joe Rocky's kids. Now instead of breaking out of a chicken farm, Ginger and Joe Rocky and their friends will have to break into one to save their chick. Yes, Ginger and Rocky are back for another for excellent adventure. And instead of breaking out of a chicken farm, like I said before, they're breaking into one. I remember watching the original to get ready for this new one. And honestly, like, it is a stop motion marvel. But it's a hot it's a really amazing single film. It was some great A stop motion animation, which is some of the best in the medium. You know, and a cast of charming characters. So I would definitely say that, that at the moment this is my favourite Ottoman film. You know, from the and from the trailer alone, alone. I was pretty interested in the sequel. I didn't know what much they could do after the chicken run, but I was, in, was intrigued to see what they would do with Dawn and the Nugget. And after watching it, so, um, it's like definitely a huge step back. Like, not to say it's bad, it is still a pretty good film. Um, but, but comparing it to the original, yeah, don't try to compare it to the original, because the original is is much better. Anyways, let's start with the characters. One of the strongest aspects of the first film was how charming the characters are. Oh, in here, we still keep that charming perks, but that's, that can also be a curse as well as a blessing. Listen, listen there are some that have, have changed as well. Oh, and it's safe to say that these characters aren't as, as enjoyable as they were in the first film. But what is new from them, uh, outside of a few personality changes, is that most of the actors <laughs> from the first film didn't return. I understand why some um, didn't, especially with the recent call. This is from Mel Gibson as Rocky. <laughs> okay. okay, but I'm pretty sure there were still some available. But what I can say though is that these new actors that have replaced the old ones actually do a pretty good job. They're the kind of actors if if that if if I wasn't told that these characters would be cut, us, I probably wouldn't have noticed. It is the only one that I I wasn't huge on on was Sappy Levi as Rocky. He did a good performance, but honestly, really to me. He sounded and did, did more, or like Flu Rider slash Eugene in from Tangled and Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure. But beginning with our main chickens from the first film, there are Rocky and Ginger, <laughs> who, are, who are the new pack, are into the film. Uh, and where Rocky <laughs> keeps the freak, either from the event and try, uh, uh, that has to let uh, his past go. Oh, and he's having a hard time doing it. Well, Ginger has now been reduced to a uh, typical worrying pet, Aaron uh, trying, trying to keep her chick safe. Uh, yeah, she's downgraded the biggest from, gifts from the original. In the first film, she was like uh, the smart planner. No, 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 always think of a good idea. Yeah, and whenever that idea fails, she'll easily think of another one to escape Tweety's farm. Um, for, unfortunately, well, there were a few aspects of the... Uh, uh, and 
she was handled really well. I wouldn't. I I, I wouldn't say that this was 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 ginger for Ashford. But as they're in a new parent, they've also got a new chick, Molly, who's just a typical curious kid. If that wants more than her, her life has given, then Anne is, is the ultimate MacGuffin in that the characters have to rescue. As for the rest of the returning characters, to, to most of the chickens still keep their strong personalities and are still as enjoyable as they were from the bar. I saw Especially, you got, you got abs, abs off from some of the funniest moments of the movie. See? But there is also someone that's returned. An old foe. Oh, of Ginger and Rocky, as I've mentioned before. And that foe is Mrs. Tweedy. Wait. Hold on. This is quick spoilers just for the first one. But wasn't she killed at the end of the first movie? I'm pretty sure. Oh, like, it's been agreed that... that that Mr. Tw- the Tweet Eighty the Elder Elder her and I, I not Oc the wall or oh, on on her building yeah on her face. Hey, so how can she survive that? Let alone no 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 pro- a real injury from incident. Then as well as also getting a new husband with Doctor Fry. Hey, who, who is this? Who's just a slug? Like a weaker version of Mr. Tweety. But keep in mind, this is still Mrs. Tweety we're talking about. One of the darkest and best best Archman villains at the moment. But and she does still keep the entertaining factor as far as she did it before. Oh, so while she. <laughs> he, he is questionable why she returned. She is still a great villain, and that I won't be docking too many points off her for. But and she was one of the few new characters to keep her original voice actress. Just so that's some, so that's something, right? I, anyway, Ace, Ace, let's move on to the story. Three, three. Remember the last time, time where I was just like part of the. Those escape films, well, this time it's more like a property of these breaking movies, like Mission Impossible. But in a sense, how <laughs> I can see how that can be enjoyable as the as the as some it, it did well, probably in these in these old escape films. Oops. H- however, the parody aspect here here is the movie's biggest threat drawback. I won't I it the story sounds bad. Ah, uh, but there is little excitement meant to cut I'm free. Once they set I top that I mission yes of say of say a thing Molly they I could immediately guess where the film and what's gonna go from that. As a result oh it it leaves the film to be openly predictable. We're not only where the outcome um, is easily guessable, so, but, oh, but I managed to get everything, everything that was going to happen from right every single time. I know that's a rubbish move. It's, it was only me. He was in this film. But I can tell you that I was the house much fun on doing so. And it was less satisfying to get at the correct. As a result, it takes away most of the enjoyment from the previous film. It only leaves it to be a pretty dull sequel. However, I will not I'd say that this story is bad. There are a few aspects that I would still it'll say they are pretty strong. On oh, one one of those aspects would be the humour. While I wouldn't say that this film is right or right funny, it is still an entertaining watch with some good jokes. Oh, and it is highly entertaining. Nick, Nick, I think of, of all, 
or it does still keep the intensity of the original film, and which I do on my, uh, as it isn't afraid, it seem darker than the previous films are. Like, uh, and one thing I will say that has stayed consistent is, is the amazing animation. It was the strongest part of the first film, and it's also the strongest part in the sequel. It is noticeable that the animation did get <laughs> at a bit of an upgrade, even though <laughs> with the design. I, 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 I was surprised to find out of how well they stayed true to the original design. And, and, and how they keep familiar ground the chick. To make them I'm a bit more, more friendly. Like, and have a che- more cheery personality to them. Um, and that can make them slightly more entertaining to look at. As for that movement. But one of the masters of stop motion is how they handle character animation. And it is shown on the animators that uh, the, the, the movements of chicken and Anna had them would move, especially at a fast high pace. As which can leave the film to be quite entertaining and exciting. I think on top of that, most of the relocation should look pretty good. From the island where the chickens have found refuge to this new farm that might that seems like a big military base. A nice like, area oh, oh, that could fool the chickens as the prisoners to make them, them seem like it's a good place. But one thing that the film does keep eat well out would have to be the action scenes. And visually speaking, they are the highlights of the feed. Each of where they can, can lead to some intense moments. And I and I'm excited. I can see see how how Jin and Jer- Jer- Rocky and Molly will get out of the next tricky situation in the farm. Oh, also leads even to a pretty exciting and intense climax that can leave the viewers on the edge of the seat. It's, so overall, I'm not gonna say it is is a bad film. It is still really good, but if you are comparing it to the original, the Chicken Run 2, Dawn of the Nugget, it is a, it's a huge stand. I'll give it a few elements that like keep the original Chicken Run spirit intact, like the great enemy, Asian as well, of the recastings. But not, they're not really enough for me. It's safe. It's this for, oh, from being just good. Oh, when the first... Arsenal was an amazing film, resulting in a pretty dull and unpredictable story. Or, or we, we, and well, and really downgraded characters. I, just, as for fans of the shit, as, the, as for fans of the first chicken run, I recommend it. It's worth watching at least once. But I wouldn't then recommend getting your hopes up. Keep in mind that this, that this might be a sequel to chicken run. But it's only just an okay film. I, I, won't lie, I was slightly disappointed after being well surprised with the first film. I was hoping in, in, in that we would get an amazing film. And while it was still a good, good enough for me to give this a 7 out of 10. And I think I'll, pro- I'll take the original over this one any day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!